From spring break to spring cleaning, now is the time to get a jump on all those cleanup projects around the house. And here this morning with some tips to get the job done is our cleaning expert, that is Debbie Sardone. Welcome back to GMT, Debbie. Thank you. All right, we don't want to clean, but we have to do it. How about we start up ceiling fans? Yes. We don't know how to do those. All right, you don't want the globs of dust to fall off onto the floor of the bedspread. Right, spreads, so how so do we do that? Slip a pillowcase over the blades, slide the dust into the casing, and then clean the blades by hand with a cloth and some all-purpose. That is awesome. Into a pillowcase, slide it right off. Okay, any other tips for ceiling fans? I see you have a lot of products here. You want to spray the cloth, not the fan, or you'll create muddy drips that'll fall down as well. So okay. spray the cloth and then hand wipe the fan blades and the light fixture. Yeah, those are $2 million tips right there. Okay, the grates on our stove, they're dirty. Yes, and the How fastest way to clean this, I love this tip, is to pour a quarter of a cup of ammonia inside a Ziploc bag Okay. and then seal it up let it sit for 24 hours and if it's really bad you can let it sit for 48 hours the end result believe it or not is it will self clean this was absolutely wow. filthy and this is the cleanest my grates have ever looked yeah these are awesome tips okay we now if you have a stinky garbage disposal yes the best way to clean the blades is to fill an ice cube tray with some white vinegar place some lemons in the pockets freeze it and then drop two or three cubes down the drain run it it'll clean the blades and help eliminate the odors oh my gosh you just make these lemon cubes little thing you've got very and easy lemon. very fast i've also heard that limes work just as well how do you think either one it's just that you want it to grind okay. and help clean those blades with the ice cubes well, lemons are cheaper so go with the lemons absolutely the limes. okay i like that what else do we have okay if you want to clean the mattress maybe once a year use baking soda and your favorite essential oil Mix it up in about a cup okay. or two, sprinkle it all over the mattress pad, and then suck it all up with a vacuum and attachment. Okay. And that helps, if you leave it for about two or three hours, it helps soak up body oils, sweat, <laughs> dead skin cells, mm. and then you vacuum it all up a couple of hours later. That's awesome. And so why not choose lavender if it's for a mattress so that you get a really Absolutely. good Absolutely. It sleep. smells nice. All right. That's a million dollar tip too. I like that. Thank Just you. make sure you vacuum it up afterwards. Otherwise Absolutely. you've got all you vacuum that Vacuum it thoroughly. Okay. Now we want to unclog a tub drain. That's what do we right. Do? It's defeating to clean a bathtub if it's draining slow. So if okay. it's filled with hair, my favorite tip is use one of these zippets. You can get it at a hardware store. I get mine at Speak cleaning.com, run it down the drain, pull it out, it's full of hair, and throw it away. Okay. Then you can clean the bathtub. Okay, so you need to get all of that hair and stuff out of there first. Absolutely. Because Keep two or three on hand because once or twice a year you're going to need it if you have people or dogs with long hair that <laughs> use that bathtub. Or both. Okay, but how about that hard water ring in the okay. toilet bowl? That is lime scale, it's hard water, it's that nasty gray ring and it seems like no amount of scrubbing will get it out. Okay. You need a pumice stone. You can get these at any hardware store, they're very cheap. You scrub on that ring and it will come right out like nothing you've ever seen. Okay, so a pumice stone, as easy as that, can this be used they in other places great. around the house? Really just inside the toilet bowl okay. or wherever you have heavy wa hard water buildup. Up, okay. And you have plenty of water. Okay, let's go where all of our hands and fingers go, which is all of this stuff. We've got light switches, remotes, keyboards, and alike. How can we disinfect and okay. make sure that we're not spreading germs at After this time of year? After the flu season, you need to remember during spring cleaning to wipe down those light switch plates. Okay. All the things that germy little hands are touching. I like to keep some type of sanitizing wipes on hand because they're not too wet, so they're safe on electronics, yep. and they do kill. Uh, flu virus and bacteria. Yep. Okay. So just wipe everything down wherever germy little hands have been touching. Okay, you should always have a, on these on hand no matter what because we're kind of germy 24 7. And they work really well. And 65 days a year. Debbie, all good advice helping us do spring cleanings. And you can find more tips and check out more on Debbie's website at speedcleaning.com.